Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about problem solving. And so often we're in the middle of the process of trying to figure out how to solve a problem in our lives that we become so focused on the problem that we forget how the Lord wants us to process through to get that answer. For example, I had been thinking on a certain passage of scripture that the Lord had highlighted to me, but I needed more insight before I could write down what I felt to write. After a few days of trying to figure out how I was going to get from the beginning of the scripture to the conclusion I think the Lord was telling me to make, that I was becoming frustrated. I sat down to process going through my weekly devotional writing, but to be honest, I still had no clue how I was going to reach my conclusion. I tend to make things a lot more complicated than they need to be. I do know that about myself, but I was stalled. Thankfully, the phone rang in the middle of me thinking it might be a good idea to throw my laptop out the closest window. It was a good friend and she needed to talk. Well, as she began to talk, I realized she was wrestling with the same concept that I was. After a long chat, we both came away with a better understanding and I was able to complete that devotion in a couple of hours and I was able to send it on to all my subscribers. Isn't that just like God? He knows me so well. There are times that I need to share the journey of collecting and rearranging my thoughts with a trusted friend before I can reach that conclusion. Isn't it great that God is so intimately acquainted with everything that makes us tick, including our thought processes. He knows us so much better than ourselves. And we forget that. Psalm 139, verse 1 to 4. O Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways, all the ways I do stuff. Even before a word is on my tongue or on my keyboard, behold, O Lord, you know it all together. And Jeremiah 17 verse 10, I the Lord search the heart and test the mind. So I would like to encourage you. Here's a little personal application. Are you in the midst of trying to work through something right now? It can be something big or it can be something small. Perhaps you're wondering how to word something or you're wondering what plants you need to plant in your garden to help keep the bugs out, whatever. But you've been letting that problem just circle and circle around your brain and you really don't have a clue of how you are going to get out of the maze that your mind has put yourself in because you've been overthinking it. Why don't you try this? Ask the Lord to remind you of the way that he designed you to problem solve. You could be so caught up with trying to find a solution that you forget the tools that work best for you. So stop, take a deep breath, allow the Holy Spirit's presence to wash away all that frustration and simply ask him to remind you of the way he created you to problem solve 